Okay, I think we are about ready, and no, no, we are not. There we go. <laughs> that would make a difference. That's done, good, and let me make sure my phone is currently on the stream. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> let me get my controller and we can get started. Perfect. Let's go ahead and I think we re yeah restart the chapter, chapter five. Gotta use that mode seven. <laughs> oh, I got readjusted. There we go. After defeating the main force of the Madonian army, the Allied army advances further to liberate Aurorius Al Al Castle. Aurorius Castle. The valuable treasures in the castle must be reclaimed before the enemy steals and escapes with them. The chest can only, can only be opened by thieves, but do we have any within our ranks? Someone murmured. So we have to bring Julian is what you're saying. Yeah, something tells me we're uh, supposed to bring Julian. Hmm, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not 100% sure if we need to. Caster, Sheeta. Oh, we're dismounted now. Now realizing that. Agma, Navar, Lena. And I could take three more. Let's see. I need... I need Julian. I want Merrick. And I, I guess I'll bring Drog for now. He's not going to be... Hermes should give him experience because I keep bringing him, but like... I... Whatever. Okay, let me take a look. Marskill, Kane, well, we have what you have. Uh, Caster's good, Sheeta's fine, Abel's fine, Barst is fine, Agma's fine, Navar is fine, Merrick's fine, Julian, you're here. Okay, we're good. Let me make a save. I want to look at the map. I wonder. Oh, wait, can I just. Oh, uh, I have to check each individual enemy if I wanted to look for items. Well, if I'm correct, stealing's not a thing. It's really only for the treasure chests. What do we got here? Ah, Wendell. Rickard. Okay. So we need to save them, which Julian has a door key. Is, if I'm correct, some of the some people are here, and some people are up here, right? Wait a minute, hold on, what's going on? Door key. We have a thief. And a soldier. Well, anyway. Big gun. What? The rebels have entered the castle! Knights, seek out the enemies. Archers, guard the throne. Thieves, gather all the treasures and prepare to make your escape. Listen well. Don't let the rebels take one step into this room. Okay, we're already in here. Uh, where's Julian? There you are. You have a single door key. If we go here... That's all you can do. Oh! That's just... Oh, okay. I thought it was a single door key. 
No, it just means it's permanent. Okay, it's a skeleton cube. Okay. Okay, who needs to talk? Is it Sheeta? Does Sheeta need to talk? No. I don't know who needs to talk. I'm assuming it's Mark. I'm assuming Mark needs to be the one to attack. Uh, to talk. Maybe I should double check and see if... Because we don't have a hint. All I have is attack as an option. Who knows? Maybe, uh... Maybe Abel? No? Farce? Can, can you talk to the thief? I'm pretty sure it's either Julian or Marth. Because it's not Shida. I kind of wish I was able to, like, rearrange. That's not a thing that was added in. Len is too far away. Merrick's too far away. Okay, I'm just gonna assume it's either Martha or... Uh, Julian. So I'm gonna put Martha, like, right here. Can I have... Can I check the drug? No, okay. Alright. I need to... I need to rush. I need to take down this thief. You have a door key. You do too. Is that the only thief? I think so. No. We got these thieves. So... Hmm. I think I'm gonna warp someone. Who... Let's war. You know what? Let's war Fable. Let's go for it. Staff? War Fable? I want you to get rid of the thief right now. At least try to. Alright, Abel. You can't mount. That's fine. Uh, attack of 14, attack speed of 8. You can't double. Okay. Well, I got a weekend. Come on, Abel, you got this. Make it progress. And Abel has a Vulnary, so he might be okay. Everyone else? Let's just start heading that way, I guess. Bars to Merrick. Okay, wait a minute. What's, what is your range? Five. Navar has an armor slayer. Ooh, that will help. That will help. Everyone just keep heading this way. I mean, there is a chance Sheeta needs to talk to Wendell. Maybe. I forget who. Yeah, I forget who needs to talk. You know what? I'm gonna keep Sheeta nearby. Alright. He's heading to Abel. Okay. Uh, this is risky. Got rid of the soldier. The other one's 
one's gonna attack. I don't know why he ran to the other side. Maybe he's manipulating RNG. Oh, good, I dodged. And we got the crit. Ah, uh, not enough for a level. Abel has a door key. right now kind of the priority. Okay. Julian, you could talk. I had a feeling I might be Julian. Aren't you Rickard? What are you doing here? Oh, Big Throw Julian. It's been a while. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. I came to the castle to steal, but I got but I slipped up and got myself caught. But Big Throw, what are you doing here? I am not a thief anymore. I'm er an ally of an ally of justice now. Uh oh? You're probably being deceived by a woman. Big Bro has always been intimidated by pretty women. Fool! My uh her sense of justice was awakened. That's all. Never mind. Anyhow, from now on you're going to be a companion of mine. You're always so selfish. Okay. One uh one, I have time. And two, since Big Bro asked of me, asked of me I, I understand. Uh, I will help Big Bro, but you must also help me. And that's that. We got Rickard. Another uh, uh, thief user. One that also can open chests. What about you? Let's see. Marth? Yes. Marth would need to talk. Does she have work? No. Okay, so it's just Marth. Wait, let me check Lena. No, okay, it's Marth. Lord Marth, I am Wendell, a bishop of Caden. The magic city Caden is is the hope of all the, all people who love peace. However, Garnef has become its ruler. Currently, he has led the mages to perform evil deeds for Dulun. Please. Prince Mark, to destroy Garnef's ambitions, please allow me to aid you. Well, we got Wendell. He has Thunder. I don't plan to actually use Wendell, like, long term. Anyway. Okay. Uh, this is the one probably was sending in... Uh, sending in, uh, Abel. All right. Now, what should I do? I could have Merrick attack. I think it might be best to have Navar, have the Armor Slayer, and just wait here. I think everyone else needs to be close by. As long as we take out the thieves before they leave, where's the exit point? I think they actually have to leave, like, right here. I think once we take get rid of them before they leave, we're fine. I think we get the items. I think that's how it works. Alright. Drug, we are still here. Granted, if I were to have to redo this again, putting Abel, like, right here would be better. That way he just blocks the path. Alright. Come on, Navar, you got this. You have an Armor Slayer. 23 damage. And I know you can double. And we got the 9% crit. Very nice. Okay. 
Mabel, you might be in trouble. I should have Volinaried, now that I think about it. I should have used the Volinary. Okay, hold on, let me take a look. So you have the Angel's Robe, which looks like it will be a drop. Once I get with you. So that will that'll help. Alright, let's see. No one else can get close. Alright. Merrick. If we went with Blizzard, you have an attack speed of four, seven damage. Double. We can't KO. Excalibur. We cannot double. But we deal 14, 13. Blizzard is still better. And we can't get the KO. That sucks. Who got it? Uh, Navar. Anyway. Record. Go ahead. Open the chest. What do we get? Gold? Okay. I'll take it. Take more gold. Mark, you get over here. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to reset. Abel, you're not gonna make it. That's for sure. Iron Sword. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, you're just a healer! I didn't realize that. Get out of here. Get rid of the medic. Seven, skill, luck, and weapon level. All right. I think eventually we want to swap out the iron sword with like a, uh, a, a higher tier one. Because if he were to ever be dis forced to be dismounted, you want him with the better one, most likely. Okay. Merrick, if you were to... Okay, you have four defense. I would get hit for ten damage. Unless I would have to dodge probably two attacks. This would not go well. What is your movement? Five. Five. Two. Five. Two. Alright. We can put Merrick right here. You'll be in range of... Well, only one at the moment. I'm gonna put Navar right here. Moment. And now let's get him healed. Uh, just the heal will probably be okay. It's kind of weird it's giving me the option to heal someone that's at full health. But I don't know if I click on it if it will do anything. Level 5? Skill and luck. Okay. Well then. So yeah, Merrick's in range. Let's get Ogma right here. Bars, you get close. Caster, you also... Oh, no, you know what? Caster could go right here. Wait a minute. Hold on. One, two, three, four, six, seven, um, he's going after the chest. He's going to go after the chest. Fine. Let's see how this goes. There's Kane, Sheeta. And one. There we go. Set it up. Mayor 
Dark Sun, enough to KO. He just needs, like, one more, like, point in speed. So that way, Excalibur can deal a lot of, uh, can actually double. Okay. Caster wasn't able to double. Now I think that thief is just trying to escape. Hmm, I don't know what they got. Alright. I have no clue what they got. You got a... Oh, a killing edge! Don't mind if I do. XP, and it had gold, and the killing edge. Yeah, let's go ahead and send the killing edge to storage. There we go. That worked out. What do you have? A physic. Ooh. And you have another armor slayer. Nice. Okay, how do I want to handle this? Is Caster strong enough? Ten. The attack of fourteen. No. I'm gonna deal eight damage. I need the steel to deal exact damage. Or not exact, but to get the KO. Or, you know, a crit. That would work too. A crit always helps. If I want Merrick to grab the KO, we could do that. One, two, three. Yeah, I want, I want to be careful. Yeah, Merrick, you definitely need to make sure to get a level. yet. Okay. Magma, can you grab this KO? Oh, thanks for the follow, Franny Lux. How's it going? Let's see. We're on Chapter 5 of Fire Emblem 3 at the moment. Uh, attack of 13. Defense of 2. We're at 11. Yeah, how's it going, Franny? How's it going? Attack of 13, defense of 2, 11 damage. Attack speed of 4. Yeah, you know what? We could get the KO. Get out of here, you thief. Yeah, what's going on, Franny? What's going on? And we got the Physic. That could go to Lena eventually. Far, you go over here, and you have, yeah, you have the there. Perfect. Perfect. Kind of good, and yeah, it's like, it's that. that's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Just playing some FE3. Uh, it's basically a first playthrough, and I say basically because I have played FE1 before, as well as the remake on DS. So, in some cases, this part of the game is not a first playthrough, but when we get to book two, that for sure is a first playthrough. But I also haven't played this variant of Fire Emblem 1. I don't know. It's it's kind of weird title. But, yeah. <laughs> Titling's weird when half of it's a remake. I'm assuming you have played this before. Or are you just a fan of Fire Emblem? Okay, we're good. Oh, oh, I didn't catch that. 
Okay. Well, Agma should be fine. It's only six damage. I haven't played the old ones. I'm a huge fan of FE. Very nice, very nice. Uh. Yeah, this is why we need Kelly Nudge. Uh, so this is the last game I needed to play before I can say I've at least played every game that I'm not completely blind to. So that's why I'm tackling this. Granted, I may have played Shadows of Valentia, but I haven't played Fire Emblem 2, but I still count that as I have played it because it's the same story. If that makes sense. But this is the last one that I haven't played before. So, I wanted to tackle it. But no, I would have... Uh, which Fire Emblem games have you played? You said you haven't played the old ones, but which ones have you played? Navar, where do you have? Nine HP... 23 damage. So defense of an 11. I can't risk it yet. Lena, you have to heal. 10 HP. What's your max? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Uh, heal. This game is a little cr clunky. <laughs> Fates, all of it. Heroes, Awakening, Three Houses. Hopes, Warriors, and Thracia. Oh, you play Thracia. That's a that's a weird one to throw in there. But you play both of the Warriors. You play Three Houses. Uh, Fates and Awakening. Okay, and Heroes is the mobile game, right? So. Kind of a weird order. So you haven't played Shadows of Valentia on the 3DS then. Or you haven't played Fire Emblem Engage. Interesting. Any particular reasons, or is it just haven't gotten around to it? Fun. More well. Oh yeah, uh, Thracia is hard, but I'm gonna say that I feel like Thracia is still probably my third favorite after playing it on stream. It's difficult, but in the way where it's like a puzzle. Thracia is just like, okay, we're gonna give you a bunch of BS. How do you get out of it? That's, that's what Thracia does. Just like, here's a challenge, get out of it. 14. I think we can... Yeah, okay. Merrick, get the kill. And honestly, the fact that stuff like movement can level up in Thracia just makes things so weird. <laughs> Skill, luck, weapon level, okay. At least the soundtrack made it more bearable. Uh. Just wait. Yeah, you didn't get a holding speed, that would be nice. Uh, Agma, you re really need some health. Uh, maybe we can give the KO to Kane? 13, 6 attack speed. Not enough to double. Not enough to double. What about Sheeta? Okay, 10 attack. 10 attack speed. 2 defense. Eight, six, ah! Alright. Well. Sheeta, go ahead and weaken. I guess. But, like, the fact that movement can level up is so weird in Thracia. I had my thief. I think it, I think the thief was Julian. No, 
Julian's here. I forget the thief's name. Forgive me. But my thief was so had so much movement. He's at he has as much movement as a cavalier. It was ridiculous. And uh oh, what was the stat that allowed you to steal? It wasn't strength. It was like con, I believe. Like con was the stat that requires uh to steal. His con was maxed out. Basically, he could steal anything he wanted to. It was ridiculous. And I love it for it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna send Caster this way. But yeah, uh, you should also give Genealogy a shot. Genealogy is very good. Just start sending Navarre this way. Let's go here. Uh, I think my thieves are done. <laughs> There's nothing to steal. Everything else has been stolen already. Yeah, looks about right. One duel. Just started genealogy yesterday. Very nice. One oh, ad started. Uh. currently playing. However, I don't think you're going to be missing much. Maybe just the knight. I think that's all you're going to be missing. I think we'll be fine. Just, oh, hold on. I'm gonna have to react when uh, the ad ends. And what was that? Strength, speed, and luck? Very nice, Sparks. So many things are happening. And the ad is currently playing. Uh, and the ad just finished playing. But yeah, uh, just got a level up for Burst, and thank you for the sub, Fran Franny. Thank you. Um, there's no emotes yet, but I have emotes in the works, and one of them is currently a animated emote that will be for Tier 1. So, yeah, there may be nothing right now, but there will be uh, next couple weeks, hopefully. So, yeah, but thank you. Thank you, Franny. Everything is very, is very appreciated. But right now, uh... Let's see, let's see. Okay, hold on, hold on. Agma, you need healing death like yesterday. Let's get uh mend. Let's get mend. Oh. Now uh, now that like I have Thracia on the mind, Franny, uh Oh, don't worry, I'm just a casual viewer looking good time watching Epi streamers. Oh, okay. It's all good. Uh, by the way, like, I don't make Fire Emblem, like, the main thing I always play. I kind of like to play a variety of things. So, like, I'll jump around between different franchises. Really, mostly just to avoid burnout of things. Like, for example, the game I played before this was ba Mega Man Battle Network 6. And before that, I was playing Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Remake. And before that, I would go back to Battle Network. But, you know, I kind of... But then, like, Dragon Quest 1 and 2 on the Super Nintendo. I kind of like to jump around. Just mostly to avoid burnout, get a little bit of variety in there. So, I do play Fire Emblem, but I'm, I do not consider myself an exclusive Fire Emblem streamer. I don't want to... <laughs> I, I don't want to call myself that, but... Yeah. I like to jump around. But yeah, uh, since I, now I have Thracia on the, on the brain, 
Uh, there was a moment during one of my streams, like, uh, there was an extra chapter that you could do, and I found a way to manipulate the AI. Text we have paid. Wait, 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 what was the text speed? Text speed of eight. I could double. Defense of one. So 13 damage. Yeah, we could do this. Yeah, I found a way to manipulate the AI in Thracia for one chapter. Since you already played Thracia, uh, it was the... It was the prison chapter? Weapon levels, and we got the angel robe. Good, good, good. But yeah, it was it was the it was the prison chapter where if any one of your units gets captured at all, you can save them. Put bar screen here. And it, there were uh, the boss had like the blizzard spell that had range, and then there were two bolting ones. But like five, five of the enemies had warp. I found a way to manipulate the AI so I could actually get a lot more work uses without the opponent actually using them. I only silenced the boss and the two enemies with bolting. And the same ones with bolting also had work. So I managed to, you know, get warp out of those. But the other three, like clerics that all they had was warp i was able to manipulate their ai so i was able to get full uses of warp out of them without having to silence them it was an amazing discovery and i'm so proud of it, it took a little while but you know i took my uh, my brain's just like wait a minute there's a there's a pattern here <laughs> I'm just like, I want to try to get more warps without actually using my silence staffs. X speed of five. You can't attack. So yeah, I am not going to double. That's for sure. We should get the XP. You're level five. She is level four. Four. Okay, we'll hand it to Sheeta. I guess. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. But no, it was an amazing discovery. That I don't know if anyone knew. But it was one of those things where, based on my limitations that I had during the chapter, I just kind of brute forced it and just tried different things, and eventually it worked out. You got this. Get the KO. You need a little bit more help. You're falling behind. Abel's got you beat by a few levels. Alright, skill, luck, and weapon level. And max HP. Very nice. So used to max HP being like the first thing to get a stat boost. Uh, let's see. I think all these guys can wait here. It's fine. We got one thief left. Let's just hope it goes well. Yeah, not attacking. Strange. Merrick, you can attack. Attack speed of four, you can't, no matter what you do, you can't double. So, maybe I can give the KO to Merrick. Attack of 20, defense of two, 18. So, Bars would get a uh, one-hit KO. You don't need the EXP, although Pain Able doesn't need it either. Let's see. 14, attack speed of eight, you would double. Yeah, you would get the KO as well. Oh, well. 
Alright, someone's getting the KO, and it's not Merrick. Well, that didn't work out. Table. And he gets the crit. <laughs> Man, a Abel's really angry. <clears throat> and we got the armor slayer. Very nice. We'll throw that in storage. Alright. Merrick, you start heading down. We'll go ahead and heal him up. Uh, yeah, we want heal, not mend. Wait, you said you just booted up genealogy. How far did you get? Are you still on, like, chapter one or two? Because they are big maps. <laughs> I should... should let Caster come down here a little bit closer. So he can attack on range. I'm gonna need to heal some of you. Some of them up. That's probably good. We're kind of safe. We got all the treasures. All that's left is the throne room. Right here, right? I think we can get Castor healed. Do we, you need you need just a heal, <clears throat> not a mend. I do. Yeah, this game is a little clunky <laughs> with the UI. Not even that far in. Makes me wonder how new mystery the emblem actually is. I know new mystery end of the emblem kind of has weird graphics because. Those two DS games just don't really look that great, but probably has better UI than this and probably runs a bit better. Alright. Mm -hmm. right. Uh, up here we got Parst and Abel. Let's just send them down. Help them catch up with everyone else. Alright. Get in there, we get in there. Okay, wait a you have a movement of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Okay. We can we can get uh, caster in range. What's your attack speed of one? Your attack speed is zero. No matter which way I go, I'm not gonna double. Can you get down here? Does anyone else need he healing? Kane? Well, I know Sheeta. Let's get Sheeta healed. Healed. There we go. Hey, Sinner Scholar, how's it going? What's going on? It's on Chapter 5 right now. Or if this was, you know, actual, like, FE1 or not, or, or the DS remake, this would be Chapter 6. As, as you know, FE3 actually cuts out a couple, like, five chapters out of FE1. Probably for space reasons. Am I trophy hunting? Um, right now I'm mostly just, like, seeing what achievements I do get as I play. Maybe by the end of it all, maybe I'll grind for the rest. 
Right now, it's just more of, hey, which ones can I get as I play? But I can pull up what I have. It's not much, nothing special at the moment. But I can pull up what I have. Uh, let's see. You have the defense of six. Yeah, eight damage. If I want him to have the K, oh, we need to seal, though. One, two, three, four, five. Who should get the KO? You know what? I think we'll give the KO to Merrick. Wait, second. Uh, are you done with the achievement? Uh, no. I'm mostly just a casual, like, retro achievement thing, right? I just play the games so I'm kind of in the mood to play and just... Either I'll, uh, get everything I can whether it's the master or, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm just mostly a casual player in terms of that. I can pull up my, uh, I can link my uh, Retro Achievements account if you want, just so you can see what I've played. Let's get a few characters closer. Give me a minute. Get this turn going, and then I'll go with my cow. Just so you can take a look. But yeah, I'm thinking I'll just get whatever achievements I feel uh, as I play, and then by the end of it, if there's not that many, maybe we'll do it. Just do it. Yeah, and GameCube just uh, got updated. So I've been in the mood to, mood to play GameCube, so I'm glad GameCube finally just got updated. So here, let me go ahead and oh, cast. I didn't realize caster is in this much danger. Oops. You may have another death. Paste. Yep, there it is. Caster's dead. Come on. That's a reset. One second. And you know what that means, at least for me. Because I don't like characters dying. Time to reset. I didn't catch that. I didn't catch she was in range. Time to do that chapter again. Luckily I know what I'm I have a better idea of what I'm doing. I like characters dying, so I try to keep everyone alive. But now that I have a better idea... Yeah, now that I have a better idea of what I need to do... This will... Ah! It doesn't default, no. I mean, I like that it gives me the option to skip, but I gotta swap to no. Okay. So, uh, where's Julian? You need to go here. And then Marth needs to hang out in close. I was getting a good... Internet decided to go away for a while. Oh no! Internet issues. Don't you just hate those? I hate them a lot. Where's Abel? There's Abel. Okay, Abel. Let's do this again. Work. I'm gonna throw you, like, right here instead. Yeah, I, I hate internet issues a lot. It happens a lot to me. I'm almost gone. I don't know. How long were you gone? Uh, uh, we have a death. Uh, uh, Caster died because he got attacked by these two. And I didn't realize both were in range. So that's a reset. 
I currently have a total of... I currently have a total of four deaths this playthrough. By the way, if you ever want to see the death counter, uh, Command Death will let you see the counter. Oh! You can see the movement range of the enemies. Never mind. I thought you couldn't. This game's a little weird. A lot of tactic games? Exactly. I play a lot of strategy games. I play a lot of RPGs. That dra <sighs> the Dragon Quest achievement took me a long took me a long time to master. I basically had to do a almost a full second playthrough just to 100% Dragon Quest 8. your range. Okay, you know what? I could get... I could get Abel in range. Right here. There we go. That works. Uh... Yeah, of course, a lot... And when I say I'm kind of a casual achievement hunter, at least with retro achievements, it's because a lot of the games I play are RPGs and strategy games and stuff like that, where there's a bunch of achievements so i get burnt out sometimes but yeah franny i linked my i don't know if you have access to it i linked my page to retro achievements if you want to take a look at what i have uh what achievements i got but yeah that dragon quest 8 one took me a long time <laughs> Like, when I played through Dragon Quest A, I was mi missing, like, I got all but two of them. And to get them, get them both, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to do another playthrough. So I took a break from Dragon Quest Eight for a while. <laughs> because I'm like, I don't want to do another playthrough right now. Can I skip this? No, I can't. I can't skip. Big Bros uh, joining the other army because Pretty Girl said you should join. Okay, come on. Come on. Now we gotta go through Wendell as well. But yeah, uh, Franny, one, one thing I brought up was, uh, I, because, uh, I have Thracia on the brain now since you mentioned that you played Thracia, it made me remember the time when I, during my first playthrough on stream, where during the chapter where uh, it was the prison chapter, uh, and there were like six guys with warp staffs, during my playthrough, I found a way to manipulate the AI so that three of the clerics that had warp staffs and that's all they could do, never used a warp staff and I didn't need to use silence on them. I found a way to manipulate the AI and I think that's one of my favorite achievements that I have completed. Well, it's not a literal achievement, like a retro achievements, but it, it was great. It was great. And Thracia is known to be like, ah, don't trust the AI. It kind of seems to do different things whenever it wants. But I found a way, and I manipulated the AI. <laughs> it was glorious. But yeah, Sinner Scholar, uh, on Retro Achievements, what games do you tend to play? I'm assuming you have played a lot more of Retro Achievements than I have, because honestly, I only found out, like, last year. I only found out about Retro Achievements, like, last year or so. Guard the gate. We good? We good? We good. Come on, 
Ivan Navar. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. We should get the KO. Of course, he didn't dodge this one. But it works out fine. Door key. Now we just want to take out the thief. Okay, I spent a whole month trying to beat the final map. Uh, the final map actually didn't take me that much time. Granted, like every map in Thracia took me like three streams to beat. So... No, Thracia's not easy. That's for sure. But yeah. I... I, I the fact that I manipulated the AI there, like, that, that's just one of my favorite things I've ever done. Okay, Castor... So Merrick was right here. And Castor was right here. Where's Lena? Can you reach Navarre? No, you can't. You cannot. And now we'll get Karst. Get Agma. Sir, Sheeta, you get right here. Got some gold. Now yeah, we'll heal Navar. Probably next turn then. Julian, head over here. I think Julian and Rickard are done for the chapter. They've done all they need to do. Oh yeah, Thracia gets a lot easier when you have a thief that can steal literally anything. <laughs> Except for, like, the rank 20 weapons. What other franchise do, franchises do I like? Uh, so I play a lot of... I like a lot of RPGs. Like, I like Fire Emblem. I like Mega Man. I know Mega Man's not an RPG, but I like Mega Man. Paper Mario, Zelda, Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest. The list can go on. I just like a variety of things. Oh, you're healing. I'm like, what are you doing? Now you're just blocking the path. That's actually annoying. What about you? What what about you two, Franny and Sinner? Favorite franchises? But yeah, I currently actually have, I think, every Fire Emblem game that has been released to the U.S. Although I need to re-get a physical copy of Sacred Stones, so I don't know if you fully count that. I have a digital version. Mega Man has always paid attention, but I've never managed to play one. Uh, Franny, it really depends on which franchise we're talking about with Mega Man. Because... We have classic Mega Man, we have Mega Man X, we have the Zero series, which is kind of an extension to Mega Man X, uh, we have Mega Man ZX, ZX, which is a sequel, a more direct sequel to Zero, which is already kind of an extension of Mega Man X. But then you got the, then you got the RPG side, you got the Battle Network stuff, and the Star Force stuff, which are completely different to, uh, <laughs> completely different to the 2D side-scrollers like classic Mega Man. So, it's kind of difficult to, and then there's the, like, the 3D adventure stuff, like Legends. 
so far. Le the Legend series is like the only series I have not played when it comes to Mega Man. So again, it really depends on what you're into. <laughs> Mega Man's a little bit weird. What do we got? I want... Steel? Yeah, steel. So, like, if you look... Zelda, Mario Kart, Crash Bandicoot, Liar Princess, and the Blind Prince. Uh, I play Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I think the only Crash Bandicoot I have ever played, though, is the... I have played the remake of 1, 2, 3, and I've also played Crash Bandicoot 4. The... The, the uh, Just in Time, I think, is what it was called. we we'll go more to classic Mega Man games. Okay, well, um... Let's see. If we're talking classic Mega Man, uh, first of all, you could just get the Legacy Collections. Those are usually good deals. Oh, at. But Frank... But because you just sub, you shouldn't have ads, Franny. Um, you sh here, here's a good thing to recommend, Franny. Uh, the legacy collections for Mega Man are usually good deals. Yes, sometimes you're gonna have to buy two, uh, Volume One and Volume Two. That's a little annoying. But Capcom games go on sale all the time. I'm not joking. They go on sale all the time. So you could probably wait for a sale for any Mega Man collection related and you'll probably have an okay deal. When it comes to classic Mega Man though, uh, they are hard, they are difficult. They are pretty difficult. Is it on Switch? Yes. Any, uh, all of the Mega Man collections are on Switch. There's let... Classic Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2 on Switch, X Legacy Collection 1 and 2, Zero ZX Collection, and then the two Battle Network ones. All of them are on Switch. That's not to say every Mega Man game is in those collections, but all the main ones are. So let's see. Kane? Did think Kane to do this? Be a six, thirteen. No, I weaken you. But yeah, um, if you're thinking classic Mega Man, or just actually, if you're thinking of just picking up Legacy Collections, they are usually good deals. And uh, if because Capcom games seem to go on sale all the time. Capcom games seem to go on sale, like, almost all the time. So, if you were to just wait for a sale, you could probably, you know, you could probably pick up both Legacy Collections for, like, Classic Mega Man and be pretty good. Because the combination of both Legacy Collections for Mega Man, that's ten games. Now, um... Come on, Barfs. You can hit him. You can do it. Nope. Uh, clearly you didn't. Ugh. See if you can get them physically, or if not digitally, since if you can find video games, it's going to be Oh, okay. Uh, may I ask where you are from? Because I am speak I am speaking as American. But I do think all of the Mega Man ones have physical releases. I know Battle Network does. I know that for a fact. Uh... But I... Oh, wait. I remember. Ah, oh, chili. Very cool. Uh, I remember. Uh, Legacy Collection does have a physical release, at least in America. But I remember there was an issue with it. Uh, the cart itself holds the first Legacy Collection. But then you download the second Legacy Collection. It's dumb. Both games are not on the cart. Yeah, 
And I think the X collections are like that too, because I think that also has a combo pack for a physical card, but like the first collection's actually on the card, but then you have to download the second one. I, like, if, if you're, like, if you have two collections on a single card, but you have to download the other one, then what's the point? Now, I'm usually, I usually like to be a physical collector, right? But when it comes to, like, collections of classic games on modern stuff, I usually am okay with getting digital copies. Because usually they're smaller games, and there's a bunch of them be like, ah, I want access to this all the time. Not having to put the cartridge in whenever I feel like playing. I like having games physically since I like to collect games. I do too. I'm always afraid that something will happen to your Switch and lose everything. Yeah, I, I fully I fully get it. I fully understand. Uh and one thing that I'm a little bit okay with getting digital with some of these other games. Like, uh let's take Battle Network for example. Those are uh, Game Boy Advance games. I'm okay with getting the digital version of the Legacy Collection, both of them, because I actually own all of the GBA games. So I'm okay with getting them, uh, getting the digital ones, if that makes sense. You like to get physical games? Sometimes get them twice, though. Right, right. How's it going, Caleb? Been a while. Been a while since you popped in chat. Playing some Fire Emblem 3. After just finishing Battle Network last week, like all of Battle Network, well, all the main ones anyway. And that's another reset. <laughs> this went worse. That went worse. Uh, let's see. Control V. There we go. Wow. Didn't expect that. I think I was trying to rush a bit more, and that just did not work out. But yeah, honestly, like, what's the point of getting a physical copy of, like, Mega Man Legacy Collection or the X Collection when only one of them's on the cart and you have to download the other? Kind of watch that working. Unless you get a new data plan. Yeah, I, I fully get it. I fully understand. Yeah, it's been a while. You know, you got things to do. Third attempt of Chapter 5. Wasn't expecting that. I swear this game's not that hard. Says no one ever. Alright, time to repeat. Where's Marth? There you are. Okay, time to warp. Abel. And I think I could throw you, what was it, like, right here. But yeah, Franny, when it comes to Mega Man, consider waiting for, uh... Consider waiting for sales. Capcom games go on sale all the time. So, like... But if you're looking at physical card, uh, physical releases, then that's a little bit different. But if you get those games digitally, you could definitely wait for a sale and get good deals. However, I'm gonna, I'm, I will say this: uh, when it comes to the X Legacy collections, uh, Volume One is a way better deal than Volume Two, and that's due to the quality of games that are in Volume Two. Because Volume 1 has Mega Man X 1 through 4, and I think volume, uh, Mega Man X 3 is the only meh one out of them. So you at least have like three good games in that collection, right? X, uh, X Collection 2 has X 5 through 8, and two of them are bad. X 6 and X 7 are awful games. So, the deal isn't as worth it. Granted, an X5 is just kind of okay. 
X8 is not bad though. So X Collection 2 is definitely not as worth it. I'll, I'll say that at the very least. But no, like uh, the zero the zero collection is a pretty decent uh, collection as well. That's not the problem. The problem is that most of the video game stores in Chile have gone bankrupt and there's only one. Oh no. <laughs> there's a, literally only one store. That's insane. Uh, is it because of. I'm asking, uh, why did they go bankrupt? Did COVID have to, pl had to play in that or is it just economic issues of the country? May I ask. I don't know how things go in Chile, so... Because, uh, COVID affected a lot of things over here. We we still, in my town, still one of our game store, our local game stores still has not open back up for whatever reason. Even though they say they are. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on there. Talk to you again. Can't skip the text. Oh yeah, for any, uh, I do highly recommend Mega Man Battle Network. I am very nostalgic to Battle Network, I will say that. But the gameplay is so unique that I can easily recommend it to everyone. And Battle Network 6 has a, actually, actually has a competitive scene. Hey, Juice, how's it going? Yeah, we're at Mystery of the Emblem. The last Fire Emblem... The last Fire Emblem game I have never played, at least in some form. Granted, we're doing Book 1, which I have played in some form, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah, music's okay. Honestly, the music's okay. I, I think it's just some of the imp uh... I think it's the trumpets. <laughs> I don't know if the trumpets are really that great. Let's see. Where's Navarre? Where's Navarre? Navarre, I want you... Here. Another Slayer. Let's wait till book two. Okay. Maybe book two will be... will have better music. Because the battle theme to attack an enemy, to be honest, isn't that great. Oh, this was your first FE game. Interesting. Uh, so far, they haven't been paying bills and the products are worth triple the original value. Paying bills is definitely one thing, but when the prices are that much more expensive, it would definitely be difficult to uh, be a physical game collector, that's for sure. But yeah, the first Fire Emblem game I personally played... Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> There's like three different versions of Fire Emblem that I personally played. Back in the day, a friend of mine and I rented Radiant Dawn. We didn't get that far. We got about, I don't know, eight chapters in, and we were kind of swapping controllers every time we died. But I had a little bit of experience there. I wouldn't say too much about it. But then during, uh, when the 3DS came out, they had the Ambassador program, and I played Sacred Stones through that. I managed to beat it, had a little bit of trouble, and then I got Fire Emblem Awakening in. I think somewhere when I got Fire Emblem Awakening, that's like, okay, I like Fire Emblem. Even though with Sacred Stones, I was just like, I was having a lot of trouble with Sacred Stones. Like, I was not good at the game. Even though Sacred Stones is one of the easiest games in the franchise. But yeah, I have every other Fire Emblem game that has been released to the US. 
Other than I'm gonna have to re-get a copy of Sacred Stones. At least a physical copy, because the one I bought apparently doesn't work because it's molded. It's honestly this map that hooked you. Really? Why was it this map, Juice? Just curious, you know. Let's try this again. We can have Merrick and Caster like before. Here's Caster, there you are. Let's go ahead and equip your bow. Lena? You're just gonna that the thieves take things and run to the exit, forcing you to go fast. Oh, okay. So, this chapter kind of told you, oh, you don't, there's a little bit more to then just kill every enemy. Okay. I, I should go in the bar. Okay, put you here. Let's heal in the bar. We want the rewards of your like, concept. Yeah, uh, I, I, I can see, I can see that mindset. I can see the mindset. By the way, Juice, I currently have a uh, retro achievement set up while playing this game, so it's just more of like we're gonna see what achievements I do get as I play. Like I don't plan to get everything. But yeah, this is also in some ways an achievement run. Maybe, well, not a full achievement run. We'll see. We'll see. But I do have retro achievements set up for this playthrough. Let's get you two here. Yeah, I already have a. Th I already have a few. Uh, granted, the ones I have are pretty much just more or less progression, I, I would say progression uh, achievements. So I wouldn't say it's that interesting at the moment. I haven't seen an achievement that's like, oh, this one's actually kind of hidden. But yeah. I just figured something a little bit extra while I'm playing old games. But yeah, Juice, were you there during Battle Network 6 where I found out that Battle Chip Challenge is canon? <laughs> so now I have to play Battle Chip Challenge. I don't remember if you were there or not. Okay, you were there. I wasn't, I couldn't remember. Finding that out now brings me dread because I don't like Battle Chip Challenge. Yeah, it was in the graveyard. <laughs> And network transmissions canon, even though it makes absolutely no sense that it's canon. Actually, it actually makes no sense why Battle Chip Challenge is canon either. I can believe the characters exist in universe, but the events of Battle Chip Challenge and network transmission makes absolutely no sense why they're how they could be canon. At least in uh network transmissions case the really the main thing that's like makes it hard to say it's canon actually there's like a couple things that makes it hard to say it's canon uh quick man's in the game and this takes place before battle network 2 where quick man was introduced and lan has no recollection of quick man and this also goes for shadow man and uh Pharaoh Man. And I already made the joke, or made the comment, that the post game to Battle Network 1 is non canon. And by post game of Battle Network 1, I mean Pharaoh Man, Shadow Man, and Base. Because when you get to Battle Network 2, like the post game, he meets up with. Pharaoh Man, and actually during the main story he meets up with Shadow Man. 
and base, he has reactions to all of those characters. But the thing is, like, yeah, he has reactions to all those characters, but he treats them as as, as if it's the first time he's met them. So, the post-game to Battle Network 1 is not in canon, because he's never met Pharaoh Man, Shadow Man, or, uh, or, or, or base. Sorry, I blanked. Let's get married. Okay. And then in Network Transmission, you fight them all again, including Quick Man as well. And then when you get to Battle Network 2, you know, he has no recollection of any of these characters. So that's why Network Transmission is non-canon. Those games are non-canon, but yet Battle Network... Then freaking Battle Network 6 tells you, no, they are canon. Because the graveyard, it names these characters. It's just like... Well, it makes no sense. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and throw... Okay, wait a minute, let's... One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We can throw Kane here. Let me do this. And then, like... Then you got Battle Chip Challenge, right? Battle Chip Challenge takes place between 3 and 4. And it's basically just a tournament game where you can play as... Basically any... You can play as any character in Battle Chip Challenge. And I use play in quotations. You don't play Battle Chip Challenge. The game just plays itself. Eventually, we'll get to Battle Chip Challenge. But the graves could still exist if you never met the Navis. Well, it makes you question why they even exist in the first place. You wonder why the graves exist in the first place, you know? Let's get in the bar corner, so I don't want to be in range just yet. They just have to be deleted at some point? Is that is that what those graves mean? Actually, yeah. Can we throw the hand axe? Nah, let's not use the hand axe. It's not worth it. Oh yeah, is that what they mean? They ju they just been deleted at some point? Because that doesn't make sense either, because... Mega Man doesn't have a grave, and remember, Grace is like, this grave is going to be you, right? It's going to be for you. But at the end of Battle Network 3, didn't he get deleted, and the Mega Man we were playing is like a newly built Mega Man? Like, isn't that right? So, again, if they've been deleted at some point, Mega Man, I think, has been deleted before. So that makes no sense. Uh, continuity in my Battle Network games. But again, uh, Battle Network 3, or Battle Chip Challenge, you get to play as any character in the series before that point, plus a couple new ones. But the thing is, even characters that are actually dead are still there. Like Air Man's Operator and Beast Man's Operator. Remember, their, na their operators are actually dead, as far as I'm aware. Right here. But yet, they're in Battle Chip Challenge, alive and well. Something ain't right. I'll give the KO Cheetah, because why not? Oh yeah, Battle Chip Challenge. I, I bet you hearing that, oh, you get to play as any Navi that has existed in the series from one through three. You don't play Battle Chip Challenge. <laughs> you don't actually play Battle Chip Challenge. It's not a game you play. It's not even a game you experience. It is a game that just plays itself. But since it's canon, We'll get through Battle Chip Challenge at some point. 
I just don't want to right now. <laughs> I also do plan on doing, uh... I think we will eventually play, uh... Oh, what was it? I think we'll eventually also play the 4.5 real operation. But again, we'll save those two for some other time. I got kind of the next few game ideas planned out, more or less. I did not realize I was that close. <laughs> Come on. You can survive! You can survive 10 damage? Or did I get you too close again? I hope I didn't get you too close again. Do I need to give Ogma the Armor Slayer? Speed and H... Speed and HP, that's it. I got him too close again. I did my calculations wrong. Come on, Navar, I need you to dodge, please. I don't need another reset. I don't need another one. Thanks, Navar. Eh, on me. On me. Because I never fully pay attention, right? That's how that's why. There is no reason we should we are still on this map. <laughs> and yet my first attempt was way better. Don't you just hate it when your first attempt goes way better, but then, you know, you reset, and now you can't even get to the same spot? It's like, this chapter isn't that bad. It's just I'm making stupid decisions. Alright, let's... Do all this again. Open the door, you wait. North, you go here. What is your movement range? So I would want to set Abel right there. You know what? I'm just gonna move Abel right now. I can go here and have Lena go here and then work. And it was like right here. There we go. This way, Lena's a bit closer. There we go. Merrick, you go up here. Everyone just starts getting closer. I, I thought I did my uh, spacing right, but nope, not even close. And Navarre is not a good dodge tank. Clearly. Come on. Get moving. And Drug's just kinda here. He's just kinda here to fill in the space. Oh yeah, uh, uh, speaking of Battle Network 6, Juice, I wanted to bring something up to you. So, uh, during the base BX fight, he mentions that he got the power, he obtained the power of a beast. Uh, and so during the fight, he has the, he uses the head of Gregar, at least when I was playing Falzar. And I bet if you were, if you were playing Gregar, he has the head of Falzar, right? You know what I wish they actually did during the base BX fight? In the manga for Battle Network, base becomes beast out base with Falzar. You know, Mega Man has the Gregar power and goes beast out. Base has Falzar. I wish the base BS BX fight was just beast out base. Where he's actually, like, bird or wolf, you know? Instead of just using the head of the uh, other beast. 
of the game that you're, you know, the other game that you're playing instead, you know? I think that would have made the base fight way more memorable. Because, we, you know, the base BX fight is just an upgraded version of base SP. I just remember the manga being like, oh, it's base, but now he's part bird now. It's just like, man, I wish that was actually a fight in, in uh, Battle Network 6. That's what the base BX fight should have been. Armor Slayer, thanks. That's on me. Also, Juice, um, when I when I actually took the time to beat Fight Thalzar SP, uh, you know, after completing everything, uh, I beat him in my first attempt. It's like, okay, I thought this would be harder. for once. And of course I didn't have the armor slayer. Okay, door key, that's normal. All that's left is the thief over there. Waiting for the ad to end at the moment before I respond. And we got ten seconds. All right, uh, the ad should be done by now. Lately, now that I can see when the ads play, I can know when to actually continue the conversation. Uh, so, yes, I have played Shadow Dragon before. I have played and beaten the DS game. And I have also played most of FA1. I say most because I think I still need to beat, like, two chapters. I just never got back to it. But yeah, I've played, I've played Shadow Dragon before. I just figured if you're playing, if you're playing like Fire Emblem 3, you're playing book one as well. You know? And hey, if I didn't do this playthrough, I wouldn't realize that uh, the healer in chapter one is completely taken out of this game. I don't know why they took him out, but they did. Let's try this again. Right here. Yeah, we want Blizzard. Cast her right here. Yes, we are not. Yes, I notice that we are not on the horses anymore because they have the dismount. Uh, they have the dismount up option. And you know, if they had to take out a few chapters to make extra space, why have a full remake of, well, not even a full remake of a game when you have to do that? Instead, why not just have more chapters for, for the sequel? Do 
<laughs> exactly. Yeah, I know. If you can't get the full... If you can't get every chapter in in your remake of one game, why not just cut out that entire game and then it just extend the sequel that the, the whole reason why you're buying this, you know? Right. I don't... Because I haven't played Book 2 as of yet, I'll find out if... Uh, some of the story is rushed. Because who knows, maybe the pacing is already as is and just giving more chapters would just make it more bloated for all I know. Then it's funny that the DS could have probably supported both book stories, yet they separated them on the DS. Well, doesn't New Mystery of the Emblem still have book one and book two? And when you play book one in New Mystery of the Emblem, are those five chapters still cut? Because if I, I think I remember reading that uh, for sure they don't have the new extra chapters that were added in Shadow Dragon. I know that much. Book one of New Mystery of the Emblem doesn't have those new chapters. But did they add those five chapters back in? New Mystery starts at book two. No, I... So wait, New Mystery doesn't even have book one. I thought New Mystery also has book one. Steel. You go here. Oh. I thought New Mystery had book one. I thought the game also had book one. What? I'm confused. Where did I read that info? Where did I re read that info? God, I can't speak. That's normal. Um, bars at full health. I could try putting the bar close again. Try doing that. Where's Agma? I'll have Agma go here. What's your attack speed? 12? Okay, I'll we'll try. Maybe they just wanted to do an NES remake. I had no plans for book two. Oh. So you think during development they were going to remake FE1 and be like, hey, let's just make a sequel to this story? I would think it's the other way around. They plan to do a sequel to a story, a, a direct sequel to FE1. And they realize, hey, the story isn't that long. Let's add the first game to it. Oh, for the DS game, okay. Speed, defense, max HP, damn. That's good. Uh, so you think they had no plan to do Mystery of the Emblem, and they figured if they only had one game, might as well make it a remake of the first one. Oh. Okay, wait, what's the... What's the defense, then? How do you have magic defense? Oh, you have resistance. There it is. Wait a minute. Oh, there's defense and resistance. Now I see that stat. Okay, I'm done. Alright. What is your... Okay, your attack is 16. Your defense is 6. 10 damage. If you get hit by both of them, you're dead. Which, you can't get close to both of them. Oh, I think I know what happened. On the first run-through, these two were separated. Like, one was here, one was up here, to the point where only one would actually... I see what happened. I see how this happened. Hmm. 
I'll set you here for now. Who needs healing? Everyone does. Spurgeon is super rare Pokemon for Trin. One away from finishing Gen 3 now. Oh, and Pokemon Go. Oh, and you just need Deoxys. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, what was the trade that you got? I'm assuming it was something like a, a Pokemon from a region you weren't able to get, like Torkoal or Tro uh, Tropius. Relicanth? Yeah, that one's a region exclusive. Speaking of Pokemon, I was playing po uh, Pokemon uh, Rogue, Poke Rogue yesterday, and I have a shiny, uh, I have a shiny Sentry, sorry, and I was training it up, and it has like a couple egg moves that I got that I've, that I've been using, like it has high horsepower and ceaseless edge, which that's a dark type move, which once hit, it spreads uh, spikes, which is a very useful ability. Let's go ahead and get... Let's go ahead and do this a little bit differently. Let's heal Castor and get him in range of the mage, but only the mage. Uh, so... I finally built up enough candy for Sandshrew to give him his passive ability, and his passive ability is Tough Claws. And Tough Claws means if you use a move that makes physical contact with the opponent, then you deal 30% extra damage. Now I'm playing this a little bit more carefully. Now I see where I did wrong. What I did wrong. So now, like my main move set with Sand Slash is something along the lines of like I have high horsepower because that's a instead of earthquake because high horse high horsepower is a physical contact move. So I think, I don't think Earthquake would get the benefit of Tough Claws. If it does, I would rather go with that. But Ceaseless Edge, which is the dark move that can also uh, set out spikes. So that's very useful. And then I have Slash, you know, a move that has a high chance to crit. So yeah, uh, I, I think that's a good move set. I think that's a good move set. And then the final move he ev I eventually give him is uh, Swords Dance. Boost his attack even more, because, you know, why not? Someone really for you can't remember who uses the spikes. Uh, do you remember which game? Turning off stream. It was, it was hurting Gyarados. And Gyarados floats. Huh. Diamond and Pearl. Oh, you were playing Diamond and Pearl. Wait. Were you not... I, I, didn't, I didn't catch you streaming that. Maybe I just missed it. Uh, so one of the Elite Four members uses spikes. Okay. And it hit Gyarados? I'm pretty sure gravity was... Oh, you were grinding off stream, I see. Huh. And I'm pretty sure gravity was not used, correct? Because gravity would affect it. So that you could just one-shot it. I see, I see. And I see your plan. I'm gonna have to heal Abel.
Because, like, the only thing I could think of... Because, yeah, Gyarados is a flying type. So he should uh, not get hit by spikes. The only things I could think of is, like, he got hit with gravity. He got hit with, like, an iron... Like, someone swapped an iron ball onto him that weighs you down. Defense of 11, attack of 20, so I deal 9 damage, deals 14, deals 14, yeah, we'll be fine, no, no, hold on, let him come to me, let him come to me, okay, who can get rid of you? Castor. Get rid of him. The... Uh, Gyarados doesn't have Roost, correct? Does he not have Roost? That would probably be another factor, but I don't think Gyarados has Roost. He's not a bird. He's flying, but he's not a bird. Uh, is there any way I can hit one but not the other? Yeah, honestly, I, I don't know what to tell you. That's kind of weird. Like, those are the only things I can think of that would actually hit Gyarados with spikes. Unless you're getting it confused with Stealth Rocks, because that would be a different factor. Stealth Rocks is different. Correct. Mega evolution is not a thing in in those games, so it's not like you can mega evolve Gyarados because it would be part of Dark instead. Yeah, I, I don't know. Unless it was Stealth Rocks, uh, I couldn't tell you. I wouldn't be able to tell you how he got hit by spikes. I mean, could be gravity, could be Iron Ball, could be a couple things, but I don't think those are the case. Or just wants to die. Ah, there we go. They've separated from each other. That's my chance to strike. Lizard, get out of here. Come on, Merrick. Dang it. Okay, I have to Volinary. Wonder what Thracia or FD4 achievements are. You can take a look! Uh, you can take a look. Here, um... You know what I will do? I'll pull up Retro Achievements. I will find... Uh... I'll find, uh, Genealogy. And I'll throw a link. Well, yeah, it's the whole... It's a whole site that you can do for older games. I'm, I know I mentioned it before. So let me go ahead and pull up Genealogy. Here's Genealogy. Copy. Here's the achievement set for Genealogy. Take a glance through. I 
can have bards go ahead and attack. If you want me to, I could pull I I, I could pull up a Thracia one as well. Should be fine. Right, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, because I did tell you about it before. I I only found out about this website like last year, so. Uh, you know what? Someone can stand here. I'm gonna go ahead and let Kane fight. Yeah, when I was doing Dragon Quest 1 and 2, I was also doing retro achievements. Although, when I was playing that game, I was specifically going for every achievement. I was specifically going for every single achievement on there. Even the freaking Lotto one, which that took three hours. Ugh, that was not fun. Let me go ahead and put a link for Thracia. Mysteries emblem, genealogy, where's Thracia? There's, there it is, there's Thracia. Here's a link to uh, Thracia ones as well. You know what, let's go ahead and let Barst go up here and start working on these thieves. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not a fan of at least this song. It doesn't sound that good with the instrument with the instruments they chose or something like that. Like, it doesn't sound that great to me. 17, 21, 24, eh. Okay. Lana, you need to head north to heal. If I were to attack, I can double. My attack is 4. No, it's 12. I can get the kill. 11. 7. Nope. Nope. I can't risk it. I cannot. Cannot continue that. That's for sure. Everyone else, head down here. After Navarre. And this time, Navarre is prepared. He's not in range of two enemies. There we go. Now we can get him healed. Four speed, luck, defense, and HP. That's not bad. That is not bad. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and heal him up. He only needs a heal. There we go. Oh, okay. So it's not exactly 10 HP. It must be based on resistance, maybe. Is that how magic works in this game? Because it says the heal staff is, uh... It says the heal staff recovers 10 HP. But Navarre just healed for 11. I think. 
So it must be also using resistance as a uh, as extra magic. Still have the armor slayer. We're good. Forest, can you please get the KO? Oh, I just realized that chest needs to be opened. Slayer, which I don't need at the moment. You need to start moving. Merrick, start heading down with everyone else. And we can finally heal. Oh, not yet. Next turn. There was your range. Don't. Stand here. Caster, you're basically at full health. So we can get you close. Hey, look, it's only taken about two hours, but we've <laughs> basically made it back to the throne room. You got this. You're at full health. And there's no chance to crit. You won't lose. You will not lose this fight. Get out of here. Okay, good. We got the happy music, even though there's still like four enemies left. Is your range. Set Abel right there. Lena, go ahead and heal. We'll use the full men's staff. I think it took you like four days to beat one of the early chapters of book two. Really? It was your it, first playthrough? Okay, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, uh, I, I'm not gonna give too much crap because uh, one of the, fir the first Fire Emblem game I really got to play all the way through myself was Sacred Stones, and I had trouble playing through that game multiple uh, for many chapters. So yeah, we were resetting deaths too. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna give too much crap. I think even when you play a like an easy Fire Emblem game like Sacred Stones, right? If you're not used to this type of game, as well as the idea of permadeath, I think like any Fire Emblem game can be a little bit difficult. I was just giving you a shit about circus fan. <laughs> I don't care if you play Gregar. That's it was just more of the circus man bit that was hilarious. It's like, oh, circus man is very difficult. Be beat circus man, get the SP chip on like my first second try. But then again, it took me a long time to actually beat the count and get the SP chip, so, like I said, like, there's trade-offs. But to be fair with the count, I have never fought the count before. Because, you know, that was taken out of GBA. So having to learn, I had to actually learn his pattern and not go by years old mus muscle memory. It really helps that Circus Man just loves hanging out in the back row, and Ground Man's drill move is just perfect for situations like that, you know? Okay, yeah, we can have someone else get the KO. You're level 6, 4, 5, 
we'll let Ogma have it. Speed, defense, and HP. Yeah, I'm trying to think with, like, with Gregar. I'm trying to think of the forms, right? I'm trying to think if there was a specific form that's actually really good against Surface Man. Because if I remember correctly, the Heat Man and the Lek Man ones are basically just a straight one pretty good, but you have to kind of harder against uh, Circus Man. I gotta wait till I get healed, because that's what happened last time. That's how I died. Let's wait it out. Yeah, okay. Slash Man, isn't his charge shot just basically a wide shot? Or a wide sword, I mean. Just the heel stamp will do. There we go. Lena got a level. Level six. Strength, speed. Okay. So you have no res, but the thunder. Thunder does, what, seven damage? That's it. And there's no resistance. Fourteen. That's five, so nine. Sixteen damage? I think Ca I think Castor will be okay now. I think Castor now has the HP to survive both attacks. Your attack speed is zero, your attack speed is two. Yeah, Castor can uh, survive both attacks now. And I'll start actually getting Merrick closer as well. We'll put him in range. Actually, the attack speed's four. We would outspeed the Archer. Four and three. So ten. Four? Okay, yeah. Merrick can survive. Merrick would survive, too. Alright. Had to double-check that. Alright, that should be good. Yeah. There we go. But yeah, did you go through the achievement sets? Find anything interesting? I bet you, like, you probably have to play through multiple times. I bet that's something you would have to do. Yeah, same spots right here. So if I set you right here, and I put Merrick right here, we should be okay. Start getting some units that can fight a little bit closer. Should be fine. Does anyone need healing? Where's the one with HP? There we go. Who needs healing? Uh, Agma. Oh, Navar needs healing. I didn't catch that. Yeah, he needs healing. Okay, your 
targeting Castor. Makes sense. You have no resistance. targeting caster. Okay. Probably a smart move. Caster can't double. At least we lured them out. I'm gonna go ahead and give Merrick the kill to the archer. Give him some extra EXP. Oh, never mind. That was a 9% miss. Thanks. Thanks, Merrick. All right. Who's getting that KO? FE4, you could do it in one playthrough. That's that's good to know. If I'm correct, with F, the FE5 one, there might be two playthroughs because of that whole... Uh, recruitment split. Right. So hold on. Let me go back to... We can take a quick look at genealogy again. Because I could just click on missable ones. Uh, show only missable achievements. Right, who do I want to give this KO to? You're level 5, 7, 7... Cheetah, can you get the KO? Ten. Eight. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Rescue all villagers. Chapter. Final chapter. Complete certain chapters in a certain amount of turns. Okay. And this is, gen this is genealogy. then recruit characters. Technically those are missable, but yeah. Retrieve the Brave X. Pursuit Band. Don't use the Silent Staff more than once in Chapter 1. Ensure Retainers survive at the end of Chapter 2. So far I'm not seeing anything that would require two playthroughs. Okay, one that might actually take more than one playthrough is the, depending on how good you are, is complete the game with the overall player rank of A. Complete the game without conceiving any optional biological children. I don't know what that means. Crew all possible units and ensure they survive to the end of the story. Hmm. It doesn't seem like... It seems like if you're good enough, you could probably do it all in one playthrough. You would just need to save at chapter 15. You play all four split chapters and go back to commit to one chapter. Yeah, you probably could do that. That 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 makes sense. You could. That would probably be the case. We're going to have Merrick, we have Navarre, we have Marth. This will all work out fine. And Bars can just hit hard anyway. I think everyone else should probably just hang back. We already opened every treasure chest, so we're all good. And by the way, Juice, GameCube just got updated with achievements, like, yesterday. And, Ra and Path of Radiance has an achievement set now. So, Oh, I'm looking at Thracia, and there's not even a filter for missable achievements. So, maybe you can get them all in one playthrough. If you're good enough. Castor needs healing? Yeah. Ooh, that came out of nowhere. 
Uh, let's use mend. Complete each chapter. That's fine. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, uh, he. Yeah. Okay. Six A or sixteen A or sixteen B. Seventeen A, seventeen B. Yeah, you would just need a separate save before that, and then just do each one. So, Bars, how how do you do against? Uh, only like three damage. Oh, I don't know where the sneezes are coming from. Just kind of came out of nowhere. Seven damage. Wait, he has resistance. <sighs> oh my god! So we're talking four damage each. He ha he can't attack from range. <sighs> Good thing I'm muting the mic, but like, my god. Where's this coming from? Yeah, I know. You know what? I think I'm gonna step away for just a minute. Refill my water. Take care of a couple things, maybe blow my nose, see if that clears things up. Be right back.
Okay, okay. I'm back. Let's just hope this. Let's just hope it's done. Quit the sneezing. You know. Refill my water anyway. So. All right. Sorry about that. Don't know what happened. Anyway. Uh, Navar. If I were to set you here with the Armor Slayer, what are we looking at? 23 damage. What? Five? Okay. Yeah, but he has a defense of 17, so we're more talking about five? No, like six damage. He has an attack of 22. You have a defense of seven. Navar can survive a single hit. Attack speed zero. All right. Navar can survive a single hit with the armor slip. However, he will not attack. Okay, with the rapier, you have a 20 damage attack. But he has a defense of 17, so Marth is only dealing 3. I think this is a job for Navar and Merrick. Over yourselves, rebels! Taste this, taste steel. Yeah. But yeah, so far in the Thracia achievement set, you probably will ha would have to make a save. Ooh, and we got a crit. You would probably have to make a save for the chapter split just to get those two achievements. I just copy your save and just do the other chapters. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. I want to check something. So, the heal staff restores 10 HP. Now yeah, we'll just go with mend. But with Thracia, can't you like copy a save onto a different save slot? So right when you're about to do the chapter split, just copy your save and just do the two chapters. Yeah, Navar cannot survive another hit. Nope, he can't make it. Not unless he gets a crit. However, we could deal for... Now, you know what? Let's just go ahead and wait. Yeah, I, I'd rather play it safe. I could have Navarre attack and then have Merrick get the KO, but I'm, I'm not going to risk it. Recruit characters. Recruit Sarah in either Chapter 17A or 16B. Yeah, it kind of accounts for both. Miranda in 16B. Shanam in 16B. And we got a steel lance out of that. Ugh. You. That could go in storage. Well, he and Navar got the kill. That's fine. Let's go ahead and heal him up. So the silly achievements, the spear make a quick the final SSS ranking one. So you have to do full two playthroughs minimum for full achievement unlock. Really? Save Avel and then talk to her with Leaf or Marita in 14x. Obtain the different scrolls. Okay. 
obtain both the Booge and Brave Axe in Chapter 1. Is that a possibility? Is that actually possible? Oh, let me... You are Prince Marth! Finally! I have a chance to meet you! meet with you. I am Nina of Arcanea. Our kingdom of Arcanea, the guardian of this world, was destroyed by the Dulu uh, Dulunian Empire. The world is now facing ruin, Prince Mark. I have a request. Please, in my place, lead the, those soldiers who were defeated by the Empire and liberate the countries ruled by Deluna. Of course, Nina. In the past, Altia has been a lo has been loyal to Arcanea, and as a descendant of Altia's founder, it is my destiny to defeat Deluna's shadow dragon, Medeus. This music. Uh, honestly, I don't fully remember. Was it reused in Thracia? Thank you, Prince Marth. Then I will give this emblem to you. This fire emblem is the symbol of Arcanea's royal family. It is the proof of a conqueror and given to the savior of the world. With this, you can also open chests that contain valuable treasures. That way you actually have a use since you can't promote. This war will be fierce, but please try your best to return light to this world. Now, now we definitely don't need a thief. Find the hidden torches, chapter 2x, capture Shiva 2x. Yeah, hold on. <clears throat> After liberating Olurius, the Allied army marched south along the central road towards Arcanea's royal capital, Pylos. Their most difficult challenge is the countless forts situated at the Lefkandif Valley, as well as the Guardian. Uh, as well as the guarding dragoons, Madonia White Wings, commanded by General Minerva. At Left, uh, Left Kandif Valley, the only passageway to the Kingdom of Arcanea is a, an intense battle is about to start. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of glancing through the Thracia ones. Do we need a door key for this? Probably, and then there's a villager right there. It was almost... No, that chapter try and shoot achievement makes it impossible to do the triple S one. Which chapter 22 achievement are you referring to? Oh, is it this one? Complete chapter 22 without using the warp staff or suspending the game. Is that what you're referring to? I just glanced at it right there. A lot of promotion ones. Uh, promote Laura and Dancer. Promote Linoan. Recruit all 47 characters and complete the game without any of them dying. Fulfill the requirements for a triple S ranking upon completing the game. So is Minerva here? Yeah, there you are. <clears throat> Although, if I'm correct, we don't recruit her. Oh, wait, if I remember correctly, she has a sister that's captured. And I think if we talk to her, she'll retreat from now. Do you really like to reset to get super lucky with move again procs? Or save many turns, yeah. <coughs> yeah, that's right, the, the luck stat. So, now... Yeah, it is a little silly. It is a little silly. Abel, Barst, Agma, Navar, Merrick, Lena, 
Man, th this game lets you bring in so many units. Jog, Julian, I guess. I keep forgetting this game just lets you bring in so many units. I can bring in three more. Um, just to kind of be here. Uh, Arden, I guess. Or Harden, I mean. Um, how about Wendell for another mage? And, um... Look at the items that I have. Marth has the fire emblem, so he could trade. No, he can open chess. Okay. Drugs just kind of here, you're fine. I'm just kind of checking through items at the moment. Barst, you do not have you do not need the armor slayer. You also don't need the angel's robe. Save that for later. Agma's fine. I wouldn't mind another staff. Okay, let's throw Killing Edge in storage. Doesn't someone have... No, we keep all that. Oh, we get the dragon here, right? We get the dragon. Now I remember... Oh, Abel has Physic. Okay, so let's go ahead and give Physic over to Lena. There we go. And I guess... He can keep the door key? I guess. It's not hurting anything. But yeah, Juice, since GameCube was just added to achievement sets, Path of Radiance currently has a set. And now it's like, now I want to play Re now I want to play Path of Radiance again. Actually, I just want to play a lot of GameCube stuff. Now in the mood to play GameCube. General Harmon, I cannot go ahead with this battle. As an honorable knight of Meta, I wish to fight an uh, an open front battle. Princess Minerva, your Medonian, your Medonian army at Arius has already lost over half its soldiers. To restore the army, we must bid for time at this castle. I came here following His Highness's orders, and here I would expect you to follow mine. You cannot have forgotten what happened if you disobey the Empire. What will I? Your sister, Maria's life, would have no guarantee. I understand. I will leave everything to you. But I don't believe this method will defeat the Alturian Knights. You will regret it in the end. You don't see a list for Path of Radiance? There is one. Actually, one thing I want to look up very quick. You can, you can click on any achievement you want, and usually there's a comment section, so if anyone says anything specific... Uh, there's a there could be a comment section for each each achievement if you really wanted to see if you get more information. Path of Radiance. Oh, is it not fully added in yet? I know it should have achievements. Uh, it must be getting it soon. Though. Okay, never mind. I was reading it should it should have achievements, but maybe it's just soon, maybe. I think they were saying like it was it was supposed to have achievements. Can Marth open the door? No, you need a door key. Abel, can you open the door? No, you can't. 
blocked. What does that mean? Lee Julian? Why is there a thief here? <coughs> Why is there a thief? Is it is the thief only meant to go after the village? I think that's the only reason. Alright, well. Again, I kinda just have window here just cause. Some characters are just here just because. Okay. You know what, let's help go ahead and have to draw the check here. Steel swords, slim lances, steel, and javelins. Hmm. All good juice. All good. Do what you need to do. Just start dealing with the archers. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not a bad idea. Gonna have to bring the mana closer then. Ads ended. We haven't really missed anything, so it's all good. Okay. We are gonna be doing flyers though. Let's go ahead and have Abel start heading down here with uh, Sheeta, as well as Merrick. Actually, my main my main force will. So you are. Let's <coughs> make sure you have just the normal iron sword equipped. If you have a steel sword, so you're good. Sit you down, Agma. But do you have iron? Okay. Marth, you're fine on weapons. I'm gonna set you here. Make sure the iron sword is equipped. Kane, I'll have you here to help out. And drugs just kinda here. Maybe I'll have him buy weapons later. It's going to take a moment. There's... Okay. Yeah, that's not a good sign. I think we need to have Marth talk to Minerva. And you have a you have a javelin. Let's have the Merrick move one square to the left. This might be a case. If I remember correctly, if Marth talks to Minerva, that she runs away. I kind of want everyone to stay out of range of Minerva. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have just backups 
start backing out. Everyone else should be fine. I still cannot bring myself to fight like this. Halia, Katrina, Est, let us return. They leave. There we go. So she just leaves. Yeah, I couldn't remember how that worked. So I didn't need to back down. But I guess doing with these flyers is probably a good idea. Especially since we gotta deal with the Wyvern Rider right now. Whoosh, exactly. Yeah, I forgot she just runs away. I thought we needed to talk to her and then she'll run away. Castor, what are we looking at? 26 damage with a defense of 13. What's your attack speed? 2. Um, 35 minus 13. Yeah, we'll just deal a bunch of damage. And this is why Wyvern Riders are so good. They are so tanky that even when they are super effective by flyers or by archers, they still survive. A, they still can survive a hit. I'm gonna let Barst go ahead and attack. Wait, no, 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 no. What's your range? Kane? Uh. You know what? Cheetah, I need you. I really need you to help out over here. Oh! I didn't catch that. I should have caught that. Dang, that's on me. Uh, Abel? Well, uh, that's not a good sign. How do I want to do this? You know what? Because I royally messed up. 16. Only 3 damage, but hey, it's what I need to do. There we go. I forgot how good Dragoons are, or Wyvern Riders. They are dangerous early, early game, aren't they? Either you have... You have a Javelin. Ah, come on. Okay. If I go to heal, then Lena's getting attacked. Someone's dead. Someone's dying. Someone's dying. And I forgot. God. Mm, I hate that weights first instead of. Instead of the heal option. Yeah, no. Uh, I see a reset in my future. My near future. Alright. Um. How about Ogma? Can you get the KO? Please, do it for me. There we go. We stopped the thief. Yeah, 
thief had a door key, which I think thieves are the only ones that can use it, so... So what's the point of having Abel hold the door key? Well, I see a reset in my future. Let's see how it happens. Let's see how it goes. Okay, you're going after Sheeta. And there it is. Didn't take much. Didn't take much. survived. Well, at least that's an early reset. At least that's an early one. <clears throat> Restart chapter. Let's try that again. Turn to Minerva just leaves. It's just like peace, I'm out of here. Now I can keep that in mind. I still think I want Castor to just you know hang out here. Julian, Lena. I still want Merrick to head down this way. I still want Navarre and Agma to go here as well. Wendell and the other cabs can just hang out over here because they're honestly not doing anything. You head, you head back here, you're not needed. I think everyone else should just... Kinda hang out like this. Kane, Evil. Uh, I don't think we need the silver equipped. Yeah, something like this. That'll work. got the 2% dodge. Good for Castor. Kind of needs it. Now we don't need to heal. Nerva will leave, as well as these three. Okay. So I really just gotta worry about the Wyvern. Speed of 7, attack of 15. You can deal 2 damage. And you 
it'll still be faster. Your attack is 17. Uh, your defense is 7. We're talking 10 damage. Okay. Shida, go ahead and equip the steel. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You need to back out. Yeah, this is a better setup right here. There we go. We got a wall. The bodies. The drugs just kind of here. I still want to avoid you. should go one square to the left. Perfect. Move one square down. There we go. That should be good. Yeah. I cannot fight like this. Time to leave. The game knew that if the game, if you had to fight two Wyvern Light Riders in this chapter, you'd be screwed. They are so tanky. Ooh, Sheeta got a crit as well. Good for Sheeta. Desperately needs healing, but you know, good for Sheeta. Alright. Castor, go ahead and. So 26 damage. 13, that's also 13. If we go with the steel at 35 damage, we could deal a lot. Just a lot of damage. Or, you know, just get the KO. That works too. I'm okay with this. Go Castor. Strength, skill, and luck. You know what? We'll take it. We will take that. One of you has a job. Right? Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. No, Julian, you need to back all the way out again. Marth should back out maybe two squares. No, wait. Put the iron, there we go. Is Lena safe? Yes. Sheeta is not. First, you need to go here. You need to wait. Well, we can only hope, we can only hope that, uh, Castor will survive all this, I guess. Now, do we want Mend, or do we want... No, just a heal staff would work. Heal staff would be enough. So close. She needs like one EXP. Which one's Agma? There you are. Agma, go ahead and grab the KO. Agma's way more tanky. Yeah, door key, which. I don't think they can even use. Navarre, just keep heading down. Same thing with Merrick. Hopefully, because Agma's in range, maybe he can distract one of them. He probably won't, though. Let's see how it goes. Here 
going after Caster. I had a feeling. Makes sense. You're going after Barst. Okay. That's perfect. Perfect. Okay, first. Caster! Uh, 27 damage. 20 damage? Yeah, we're good. Now, Caster is showing its use. There we go. Okay. Now for you, Chavalin. Seven, or seven, or five. Kane, are you even able to grab the cane? Let's start with the iron. So we're talking 15 attack. Nine damage, can't double. No. What about Abel? Can you weaken? 16 damage, four attack speed. And Abel could just get the KO. I kind of want to give Kane a kill. He kind of needs it. But what if he goes with the steel? 16 damage. No, 18 damage. 12. Again, not enough. Not enough. Okay, Sheeta. Can you, with the slim lance, you're going to double anyway. Attack of 13, what's your defense? Yeah. I'm gonna have Sheeta weaken. I'm gonna have her weaken. Perfect. That sh <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Okay. 15 attack. So 9 damage. 9 damage. Okay, you need the XP. Perfect. Alright. Abel, you go ahead and start heading down. needs healing. And we'll have Caster go ahead and work on the archers. We got Lena. Uh, level up with luck. That's it. Okay. I'll have Bars go here, but he's probably going to... I, I don't know what direction he's going to go. Marth, you head down here. Julian. You can open the door. Uh, wait. If I need drug to buy something, I'm on a close. Is that it? No, that is not it. You are a healer, and that's it. So let's go ahead and start... Just like I I'm just a healer. I need to go and heal my brethren. You know what? I think I'll just let Ogma get grab this one. X speed five versus my thirteen. Thirteen damage. Nine. 18, nine. What about steel? Okay, sixteen damage. Oh, not enough to KO. Not enough to KO. Ooh. 
we could put Navarre in a good spot. Right here. With the Armor Slayer equipped, he should be good. Able... Actually, can Able weaken? He's probably too strong to weaken, but let's see. With the Iron... Let's see, yeah, four attack speed, you will double. That's a four. Defense of four, attack assistance. Twelve damage. Oh, no! Abel should be fine. He can weaken. Oh, he wasn't, he wasn't even able to double. Okay. That works. Agma. Yeah, okay. There you go, Agma. There's some EXP for you. Six strength, luck, and a weapon level and HP. All right, not bad. Got some more strength out of that. Merrick, uh, you just hang out close. Right. Down here, Castor. Are you able to grab the KO? Fifteen damage. So only nine. 18 attack. Alright. Come on, Castor, you got this. Yeah. Perfect. Because he didn't get hit. Lena could go ahead and heal. Farst. XP, it's all good. Alright, you can start heading this way. Alright, I want Kane close by. <coughs> Sheeta, she can start heading down here. I want to try to give these kills to Kane. Hell, I might even give this kill to Kane. Yeah, I may. I may do that next turn. Because that archer is going to go after Caster. Cas Casper. This knight is in the forest and yet Navarre still has 100% accuracy. to caster. I really could. <coughs> but I'm not going to do that. Julian, go ahead and open the door. Kane, where's your ring? Where's your ring? Oh, uh, you know what? I got a better option. I got a better option instead. We'll let Caster grab the kill with a crit that he didn't need, but that's okay. It's just a bit of skill. Um, Alright, Kane. Go right here. That way you only get attacked one at a time. Mark, you can hang out here. You can go ahead and heal Caster. Lena's going to need a new staff. So far, I haven't been able to buy any. Alright. Everyone else, start heading down. Navarre. If I were to attack, what are we looking at? So, 24 damage. Defense. So 13 damage. If 
I get hit, we're talking 13. 13 minus 7. All right, Navarre has this, actually. Okay, I already know Navarre has it. Honestly, Merit can use some XP. Let me look. Again, 7 damage, 7, 14, not enough. Yeah. Can't catch a break. And Navarre's level six. Skill and luck. I don't think he needs either of those things. That's playing, but I'm just moving everyone down. I'll keep Sheeta close by just in case she needs to back up. Uh, I think you're not gonna miss anything. Crust arrived? Ah, reinforcements. I was gonna say, this is too easy. Yeah, it's a good thing I waited. This game just same, yep, same turn reinforcements. Merrick might be dead. Well, uh, same turn reinforcements showed up. Merrick is probably dead, unless he can get a dodge. Level two, luck, weapon level, and HP. Oh, I didn't even see that horse. I didn't even see that one. Well. Well, we tried. And Merrick, I it would be amazing if you take that 9% and dodge it. Of course you don't. Of course you don't. Poor Merrick. Alright. Time to reset. I'm assuming those reinforcements are turn-based and not once you get past a certain uh, threshold. I'm assuming that's what it is. This is what I don't like about like old Fire Emblem. Same <sighs> freaking same turn reinforcements. There was no hint that there was even going to be reinforcements, even though, let's be honest here, uh, it's kind of obvious that there would be. But there was no hint that there was going to be reinforcements. And they just show up. And they could just move up the same turn. Even if I kept Merrick here, he would still probably... Actually, no, he would have only been attacked by the horse one, I think. Because I don't think he would have been attacked here. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Alright, we're gonna do a similar turn one. We should be able to get this check out. Unless things go south. You go here, and you can equip the steel, if you need that. And you back out. Caster went ahead and weakened. Cain and Abel. Alright, 
here. You're like over here ish. Alright. Yeah. These first games love doing same turn reinforcements. Again, I'm pretty sure it's based on the amount of turns. Not once you get past this point, they show up. I think he'll be fine. However, even though he may be fine if he stays on the fort, I don't know if Navar would actually. Unless I have Navar not go after this one. Like, I, I could get rid of this one, but then I have Navar like back out just so he doesn't get attacked by too many guys, because that would be a problem. Make sure he is at full health. There we go. Right. I want to make sure Merrick is out of range. Everyone else is okay where they are. I cannot fight like this. Time to retreat. Because, now to be fair, without the reinforcements, this chapter isn't that hard. There isn't much to this chapter. Honestly, this Dragoon is probably the hardest thing about this chapter. Oh, she didn't get the crit this time. Yeah, RNG must have not... I must have not done things, like, the exact same way or something. Actually, no. I don't know if RNG... I don't think this looks like the GBA ones. Alright. Steel, though. I don't think I'll get the KO this time, but we've dealt a lot of damage, and that matters more. You get out of here. We'll go ahead and let Barst grab the kill, because I want a similar formation. Thank you, Barst. Defense and max HP. I just realized what actually affects attack speed? What's actually taking effect? I know speed's a factor, but is it speed and like weapon weight? Weapon uh weight? Is that a thing? Like I don't know how this fully works. Go ahead and have Marth go up here. Now it was Agma goes ahead and gets rid of the thief. Okay. 
Oops, counter attack. Yeah. Door key, even though I don't know what the point of it is, honestly. It's not a one use item, it doesn't seem like. Alright, see how it goes. Wait a minute, can't reinforcements show up from up here, too? I better have like Arden or something uh, hang out on the fort now that I think about it. Store. 26. 19, yeah. There we go. Alright. So, Juice, I got a question. Whenever you boot up Fire Emblem 3, if you ever feel like playing Fire Emblem 3, do you ever play both books? Or do you just play the new Mystery of the Emblem stuff? Do you, do you just play book two? Like, do you ever go back to book one? Or do you, if you're going to play book one, do you play one of the other games? Oh, you got an Azelf yesterday. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Uh, last time I had Sheeta weaken so that Kane can get the kill. Sometimes you do book one or two, depending on what you're feeling, but usually, like, close times. So, what you're saying is, you'll play book one, you play through it, then maybe you take a break in between, and then you'll play book two. You could just use the iron and you'll be okay. Come back to it later. I see. Just a quick break between games. Is it because both games are basically full Fire Emblem games that playing them back to back is kind of draining? That would be my guess. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't want to do that. I hate that the weight command is the first option sometimes. Or do you just stick with New Mystery of the Emblem and just play book one that way? I'm curious. The maps are pretty big for this game, too. It do not take a short time. So far, the early chapters are not that bad, but then again, early games in every Fire Emblem game are not that bad in terms of uh, map size. We usually start very small, eventually get bigger and bigger. I mean, that makes sense, right? Just start with big maps. And then if... And then they're just like, huh, these maps are already pretty big. You know, when we made New Mystery of the Emblem, we got pretty big maps. Here's a, here's a revolutionary idea. Why don't we just take these maps and make them even bigger? Genius! That man should be should get a race. I really do hope they give the map design of genealogy another attempt. Cause that is so unique with Fire Emblem. That is, genealogy is the only game that has map design even close to that.
And I would just love another attempt, you know? Because they only made it for the one game. Ours doesn't need the community. She... Okay. I could get extra EXP. Alright, uh... Agma. Grab the KO. 16. Not enough. It's just... Merrick, just hang out here. Navar can go ahead and get the... Wait a minute, hold on. He has... Tw Hear me out. He has 21 HP. And 7 defense. So that's 6 damage. So, so 13 HP loss in total. Okay. Navarre can deal with both of them, and then he needs to back away. Most likely. But yeah, is there any reason for you to go, if you want to play FE1, or just this story, is there really a reason for you to play NES or even the DS Shadow Dragon version? Or do you rather just play Book 1 of SNES? I thought Book 1 was also in New Mystery Gambling, but I guess I'm wrong. Good, we got the dodge. And we got the crit. Good, now Navar can, uh, is done with the armor slayer for a second. And he's got a strength and speed boost. Yes, Navar, exactly what you need. Okay. NES is very clunky. I mean, that makes sense. This is where the game started to become more playable. I can understand the mindset of FE1 being too clunky to want to go back to. I can understand that. DS Fire Emblem, I guess if you're looking for a new take on the series, the class changing. Right. And also, not only does it have the class changing, it also has the extra new chapters you could unlock. I, I don't like the look of the DS Fire Emblem games. I do think they look like bad early PC, 3D PC games. But the gameplay is a different story. You know? Probably let Sheeta get healed though. Alright. Agma, you go ahead and grab the KO. Merrick back out, and I'm gonna have Navar stand here. All right. Character portraits are fine in DS. Even in New Mystery and Emblem, they look better. In New Mystery. Battle animations look horrid. Yeah. 
I know. I agree. Sorry about that. Um, package came in, so Molly started barking. Yeah. Had to get rid of that. <clears throat> or, you know, get the package inside. Uh, yeah, DS was capable of doing great spark. Like, I agree. Look at, like, the Mario and Luigi stuff on the DS. Like, they really should have gone sprite work. The ugliest looking character designs is Awakening Fates. Do you mean that like character models, or do you mean like actual character design? The color palette to those designs. Oh, hmm. Interesting. Julian, we're done with you. You can head back. Kane, if you were to attack again. How much damage did you do? Exactly nine? Alright. Some of their outfits look so horrible like they are. Nice. Okay. It's more of a d design aspect overall. Yeah, okay. I think the 3DS era a Fire Emblem is when they were really trying to be more of an anime game and not just a war sim. So their designs are definitely more anime-like. Granted, I don't think Awakening is that bad, but when you get to Fates, yeah, Fates is when it's like, no, we're just an anime game now. remake of Echoes. Characters look way better. The thing with Echoes is that they had basically characters designs from because it's a remake of an existing game they uh I was gonna say they couldn't drastically change it but no a lot of the characters actually do have pretty distinct changes and for the better but it doesn't look that bad but I think when they did design Echoes. Because they, you know, because it was a remake of an old game, they didn't go full anime, if that makes sense. So they were a little bit more restrained because it's like, oh, this, these designs don't work with this type of story, you know, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any sense. It feels like with Echoes, they were more restrained on how far they wanted to go with their designs because it was a remake. And I think that was probably for the better. Wait, do I want to heal or do I want to mend? Yeah, we could probably heal instead. Like, I don't know the best way to describe it. Like, I, I think Awakening is like, okay, we're gonna definitely be a little bit more modern anime, but we're not, we may not go too far with it. 
And then when Awakening did well, it'd be like, okay, let's go full anime. And then that game didn't do well. And then they're like, okay, let's tone it back a bit. It, it, it's a constant back and forth. Every time. Because with three houses, the designs weren't... Like, they were anime, but not super anime. And then you got Fire Emblem Engage, which was super anime. Pop Idol. You know, it's like they keep going back and forth on what, how far they want to go. Anyway. Have you seen a young girl by the name of Tiki? Tiki is the Naga tribe's sole survivor. Without this child, there will be nobody to defeat the Menekets that serve Medeus. I am a fire dragon. I lost something important at, at Parathi, so I cannot fight anymore. Regardless, I'll come along with you. Please help me find Tiki. Yeah, we got uh, Bantu. That was his name. Now let's give him the ability to fight. But it only has 18 uses, so why would you want him fighting? Is he just that strong? Are you that strong? You have a strength of two. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I can't really tell. Everyone can start heading... Now we just gotta wait for Marth. I could warp him, but now honestly, why waste the warp staff at this point? Cheetah, you go here. And what's going on down here? About the stone? Yes, go right ahead. I'm okay with that. Like, when it comes to, like, spoilers, I'm less... I, it's more of a story thing, more or less. Gameplay mechanics, I'm usually okay with. Usually. turn-based, I can tell you that. So it is distance base. You know what? It must be... You have to be within a certain uh, certain distance from the castle. That must be it. That must be it. Just in case more reinforcement shows up. 18 uses, but you transform and stay in that form for five turns. Oh, okay. So, honestly, if you put Bantu, like, if you have him go up to, like, a group of enemies and have him fight, you can, like, he stays in the form for five turns. So, yeah, you can have him get a lot of KOs if you really wanted to. If you put him up against a big group of enemies. Might be more turns, but yeah. Right. Maximum HP 1. I feel like I should look into Bontu then. Granted, I don't plan on using Bontu. I'll probably throw in Tiki. Slayer, don't need 12. Eight, seven, nope, not enough. What about the steel sword? 
15. So 10. Still not enough. Killing edge? It's just a higher chance to crit. Alright. Barst, can you grab the KO? 21. Yeah, he actually could. Looks like ads done. Yep, more reinforcements. I should have left Navarre. But honestly, Merrick is okay. He'll survive this. And we got a crit out of it. I forgot he, uh, Excalibur has a higher crit chance. Can't find the answer, which is. It's a few turns. Okay, I trust you. Granted, I again, I probably won't end up actually using Bontu. I'll probably end up using Tiki. But maybe I'll bring Bontu with me? You know what? I might actually just straight up bring Bontu with me during the... You know, during these chapters. Whether or not I use him is a different story. But the sound of it, of it lasting a few turns, sounds really useful. Navarre can block the path. Or block the fort. Yeah, you know what? I really want to give Merrick some EXP. He's falling behind. He really needs like an extra point of speed or something. Stand here, get some health back. Kane can head down. There we go. There, no reinforcements. But if that's true, that the dragon stays in the. Uh, he stays in his form for a few turns, I could definitely see him. Get into a big group of enemies, transform, and then for a few turns, just fight a bunch of guys, and then that's it. If I want another shot of EXP. can go here, and Lena can heal. Almost out of heal staffs, though. Level 8, skill, luck, and HP. 
I already know Castor is not gonna help. So I'm gonna have them take Agma's place. I'm probably gonna have Bantu take one of their places as well. Actually, I don't think it'll matter now that I think about it. Because it's probably just gonna be a Merrick, Marth, and uh Merrick, Marth, and Navarre job over there. I'll keep taking care of this guy. Yeah, we'll do this. Yeah, more reinforcements. I blocked most of them. Of course, Navarre got a crit. It's not like I wanted Merrick to get some EXP. No, we can't have that. Alright. I wonder how long these reinforcements last. Oh, I didn't want there. Let me go here. didn't get hit, you didn't get hit. Well, oh, you're already hurt anyway. Agma, I want you over here. Perfect. Does it really matter? Let's see. Is there more reinforcements? Yes, there is. This has got to last, like, a few more turns, right? I remember when I played the DS version of Shadow Dragon. I just boss abused the very first boss and let uh, Gordon just keep fighting the boss, but because he doesn't deal that much damage, he's just getting that a lot of EXP out of it. So I really boss abused that first one. I don't remember how many levels Gordon got, but he got a few. Skill, luck, and... Skill, luck, weapon, and max HP. He really needed speed. Speed right now is his problem because it affects attack speed. I think. No luck. No Bars. You go ahead. No, let's save the heal staff for when I might actually need it. Set Ogma here. We're probably good. Yep, more reinforcements! Who are you after? You're after Navarre, still. I don't know why. They just really don't like Navarre. And Navarre got another level. Level 7. Strength, speed, weapon level, and max HP. Do I just want to wait again? Level six, level seven. We could just keep going until... You must leave? Well, have a good rest of your day, Juice. I'm wondering how much longer the reinforcements are going to keep going. This chapter is almost done. We'll probably tune in Thursday. All right, all right. Yeah, it's, ni it, it's nice uh, when you show up and we can have these chats. Merrick, go ahead, get another kill. So, is is genealogy with retro achievements in your near future? <laughs> Am I gonna expect a stream like that soon? I really want to look up how many more turns there is. Because I do want to try to get as much EXP as possible, but it's got to end soon. Actually, 
actually isn't this isn't like t oh I moved out of the way I'm dumb I'm dumb I didn't think about that well I lucked out that was the only one that showed up huh Kane can you take care of this do you have an attack speed you have attack speed of four good 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 KO to Merrick. He's gonna need more magic soon. Alright, Merrick. Come on. Alright, you know what? We're gonna heal. This is my last heal. I have mend, but I better start going after the boss. I better start going after the boss. Shoot you go right ahead and wait there. First... Wait, who can make it there? Oh, okay. Good. Navar will be fine. He has a steel... He has a steel lance. So he can't hit from range. Marth... Can you, like, do anything? 20... Okay, so Marth can only deal 4 damage. Thanks, Marth. Thanks. Just what I need. Alright. Merrick, start heading down. Lena, you also start heading down. Okay. Navar? With the Armor Slayer, 26 damage. We're talking 10 in total. Navar can only survive a single hit again. So I think this is the same strategy as last time. Okay, Lena, you get close. That should be close enough for next turn. Navar, you go right ahead and equip the Armor Slayer and wait. Merrick. You can attack next turn. Alright, should be good. to betray us? In that case, you guys shall accompany her in hell. Oh no, he's so heavy, he shakes the ground as he walks. He must be very tough. Okay, no crit from Navar, that's fine. I might be able to give the KO to Merrick. See what you can do. With Excalibur for 13 damage, but he has a resist of 3. Are you kidding? Okay, Navar, you get one shot. Make it a crit. Yes, thank you, Merrick. You needed that kill. Level 4, skill, luck, Weapon level, HP. No speed. Ugh, Minerva, you traitor. Huh. Let's go ahead and heal. No far. We really need another staff. There we go. And Marth receives the castle. 
Prince Marth. We can finally talk about the Manakets. The Manakets already existed on this continent long before humans, and they were referred to as the Dragon Tribe. However, they were punished by the deities. Yeah, by the deities. And were forced to seal their true form in stones, and afterwards lived anonymously in the frontier lands. They coexisted with humans, living a life of peace and without conflict. However, 100 years ago, at the Doluna region, the shadow dragon Medeus appeared. He gathered all the Manicats that hated humans and formed the Dolumian Empire. He then led an attack on the human world, and soon they had conquered the whole continent. Of course, humans fought back to the death, but in front of Medeus' might, it was no use. Then, at that time, a youth from Altea, wielding the Falchion, the so a sword that radiated light, appeared in front of Medeus. After an intense battle, he defeated Medeus. That's right, your highness should know what happened afterwards. That youth, who founded the kingdom of Altea, was Ani the First. But 100 years after the Dark Age, at Doluna, Medeus awakened once again. Prince Mark, you are the only one with Henri's blood. With only Henri's blood, the chosen one. You are the only one that can succeed the will of your deceased father, King Cornelius. And there we go. Make a save. Looking at the time, I do not think I have. I definitely don't have enough time for another chapter. If only chapter five didn't take me like four or five attempts. Um, how about before I wrap it up, let me pull up the achievements that I managed to get between <clears throat> from this chapter, from this stream and the last one. So let's see. We got beating chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, four and five, six. Those are easy. Recruit Caster in book one or book two. Recruit Navarre. Recruit Mathis, Merrick, Rendell, Rickard, and Bantu. Pretty simple. More or less progression. Granted, some of those can be missable because, you know, if some of your units are dead, you can't talk to them, you know? That's how it works. Anyway, uh, I think it's... Yeah, I definitely know I won't have enough time for another chapter. These chapters can take a while. Anyway, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the back page. Next, next time, we'll work on Chapter 7. Have a good day. Later.